Hey, fish on. <laughs> Boys! <laughs> bro, it's the biggest. It's like four. It's like a four pounder. <laughs> it's the biggest, bro. <laughs> no way. Jimmy's up. Jimmy's up. He says it's a big one. Bro. On the battle shed? No way. Bro. Oh my god. He's throwing big baits out here. He got a big <laughs> Oh my god. What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Guess what we're up to today? Uh, fishing off the side of the highway. We've done it in the past, but guess what? There's some juice right here. I mean, it looks delectable. I've got a bunch of rods in the truck. I got fly rods. I got the bait casters. We're fishing with Jimmy and Ryan today, but I have beat them to the punch. I'm at the spot. I figure why not bust out the fly real quick and throw some uh, some dry flies around. I haven't done that since the first few fly fishing videos. I've been loving the streamers. I've been loving the game changers. I've been loving uh, all the big stuff for big bass, but maybe I can get a little hot bite in this uh, small body of water right quick before we link up with them and start throwing around the bait casters for big bass. So hopefully some diversity in today's video. We're gonna have some fun with it. Let me go ahead and grab the fly rod out of here, y'all. It's also, you see, I got my post fly subscription box, very similar to Mystery Tackle Box. Check the link in the description. I think you can get a deal on these suckers using a code that they provided for y'all to get a discount. You get different flies and accessories sent to your door every single month with this subscription service. But what I was excited about was breaking out some of these tiny dry flies real quick and also we've got some tippet in here because I've been throwing like 20 pound leader on all my fly gear just because all I'm doing is throwing the big stuff for bass so I'm not really worried about making that real soft presentation using the tippet for dry flies lately but today we're switching it up and use some of this tapered leader tippet that we received in the post fly box toss that on the six weight combo and fling around some flies for a minute till the boys get here it's gonna be a lot of fun let's get started okay so this is 5x and this is 2x would that be is that what i would want to use though on like a i really don't know let's go the 5x you never know what we might actually catch here symbol the old six weight forget how to unravel tippet usually the tail end of your tippet i believe is like 20 pound and then it tapers down to you know whatever the x rating is and i am still so new to it and haven't used it that much that i almost forget but all righty i want something small and bite size for these little bluegill this looks good that is such a tiny fly this feels like it'd be the equivalent of like two to four pound fluoro like it's so tapered down oh oh we got a fish got a fish fish on oh we had him wow i wasn't even expecting it i've been casting over this whole place and i hadn't been getting many bites and then boom Oh, we got one. I was just letting it sit that time. I was about to move on, y'all. <laughs> I was literally about to be like, let's just go somewhere else. Is this a bass? Oh, wait a second. What do we have? No, this is a little sunfish. There we go. Nice. Breaking out the micro flies. Oh, wow. That bar bait plant. See you, bud. Have fun. All right, they're here, but not enough of them. Moving on. All right, y'all. So we're still out here trying to catch our fly rod PB. We want something over four pounds. We're going to start fishing this bad boy along the wall. Uh, yeah, or has Ryan it been? said he caught him on a chatterbait yesterday. I wonder if they're acting the same today. Yeah, but he did it a lot of grass, so I was gonna throw a day, but I might just throw the grass here. Uh, yeah, I mean, either one, dude. The grass hero, you could do either, right? You could just work it like a Texas rig if you want. A lot of grass, baby. Oh, heck yeah, thank you. Oh, snap. Straight cool. from G Weight Baits. I might have to throw him. That's so sick baby bass swim bait custom made from g weight baits and uh he just got this over to jimmy to then forward to myself we gonna have to fish these subscriber swim baits soon because i got another one that was just sent to me as well not this style and i uh i want to throw them dang dude maybe i'll just tie this on right now got this little spinner bait bass i was wondering if i could get that guy to come back for it and just kind of face the opposite direction I don't know if I've shown this in videos yet or not, but the uh, Colorado bladed zinger. Let's see if it. Not bad at all. Jimmy's on with the swim jig. In the grass, who would have thought? <laughs> nice one, man. Yeet. Got him on the. Is that a grass hero with an exopod? Yeah. Legit little setup. But the uh, exopod, I'll show you right now. Yeah, let me see. Show the fan. What's you gotta the secret? Put it on sideways. Mmm. So, okay, so the fin's almost like the, the fin on a fish. Yeah. yeah. The real deal. That from Mr. Ryan over there. That's sick. I like it. What weight is that? I like the halves because, man, you can get down there deep if you need, rip it through that stuff. Swim jig, man, one of the best weedless setups for 
thick grass like this that y'all can probably barely see but i'm having to stay kind of like above the grass otherwise i'll get it on the hook jimmy though he can work right through it and shed the grass since there's no blades and whatnot on there works out in his favor did y'all give up oh no just he gave up <laughs> so you're going home to cook your cats we're <laughs> we caught a couple we're just releasing them though <laughs> he's stuck uh that cable down there i need him to swim away from it that's not supposed to happen well we got one on the hook well we got weston over here on the there go. oh there he goes <laughs> he was on a tight little situation there we go that's a bigger one hey maybe like a three pounder there we go that's a little better a little sunset bandito bug hammer time with the boys this one was not bad he's not three but he's uh bigger back in the water then see you bud right off the wall getting them after dark we got another yeah just uh just just let it sit on the bottom dude one hour later this place sucks <laughs> that's why i never fish here i mean if i leave now i'm gonna still be in traffic so i'm cool to stick it out with y'all if you want to hit that course we could go to the pond where i caught that 20 pound catfish fish on no okay let me hit this corner fish on fish on fish off Hey, fish on. <laughs> Boys! <laughs> bro, it's a big one. It's like four. It's like a four pounder. <laughs> it's a big one, bro. <laughs> you gotta hit the corner, dog. <laughs> Don't mind if I do flip a four up on the go to rod. Let's break it real quick. In the evening, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's a bandito. <laughs> wow. We were like, screw this place. We're over it. It's nighttime. We're done. Oh my gosh, are we rolling? We is roll. We too Dude, live, baby. That's a four on the scale? bandito bug, huh? You got a scale? Oh, always come strapped. You got one? No. I'm Shame kidding. on you, bandito bug, pulling through, boys. I thought you were just kidding. Nah. Oh, like, well, I was. I was at first. Yeah, Fish on. Like that. <laughs> That's what happens though. You, you you mess around. Sometimes you actually get one. All right, let's bust out the scale, y'all. Four one. Four one. You think it's four? I think four, it's a three point seven five. Three point two. All right. Ryan's right. One, two. Four one six, which is not it, it's <laughs> almost four and a quarter. Four and a quarter to end this one right here. I think we're gonna go hit a golf course and try for something bigger though. Maybe Ryan can get a five pound PB. Let's get this puppy back in the water. See ya. Ryan said if there's one thing I know it's a four pound fish. He's been going for five pounds for so long and he always gets the fours. That's funny, dude. All you gotta do is say fish on. I think the golf course is a good spot. <laughs> Alright guys, so here's the move. Weston just nailed a nice four pounder, so we're a little salty. Decided to finish our night at a golf course. It is now uh, about 6.40 at night. It's starting to get dark, but there's no golfers out there, so... Oh, snap. Oh, we got a good light. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. We're official now. <laughs> about to make stuff happen, so let's get at it. Let's go. No way. Jimmy's on. On the battle shad? No way. He's throwing big baits out here. He got a big one. Oh my god. It's gone. What? It's gone. What? Oh is that the Battle Shed 6.0? Yes. No way, dude. Got flyer, just got flyer. here. Just arrived, right? You got that like yesterday, probably. No, this is the first uh, first batch. Okay, first okay, model. okay. I was about to say. Dude. No go. way, bro. Let's go. Come on. Go, right? Were you like swimming it up high or was it down low? No, I casted it and I walked the line and I super slow, dude. Insane. I just felt thunk. And I just let him eat it. Insane. Let's go. Oh, shit. Look at that, dude. Crazy. I'm over here trying to fix a bird's nest. That's your first bite in a while, too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Golly, I think the sun was up when you caught your last one. <laughs> About to go. She said, oh, it's kind of cold, though. I'm kind of cool just swimming slow. <laughs> That's going to wrap up an awesome evening with Jimmy and Ryan, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this one. A little bit of fly, a little bit of casting, some big fish. Uh, we, there was no intention of actually staying out and fishing after dark, but I was going to get stuck in traffic on the way home anyway. So we went ahead, rolled with it, ended up catching a, a giant four and a quarter after sticking it out from like the last hour or two without even getting a nibble. So it had slowed down significantly and I decided to make that one last cast in the corner. And then of course, Jimmy securing a solid fish on the Battle Shad 6.0. Oh, those things just went on sale and sold out in seconds. Perfect way to end the evening. Go ahead and check out Ryan and Jimmy's information down in the description. Save yourself 10% on Guggen Baits and Apparel. If you need any of that good stuff, you know it's always there.
is there for you as well as post fly boxes if you're maybe newer to fly fishing or you just want to expand your current arsenal go ahead and check that subscription service out where you get new flies and accessories sent to your door every single month should you opt into the subscription and until the next one y'all we'll see you in the next video peace